What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. My name is Chris. That's Mike. What's up, Mikey? It's The Walking Dead time. <laughs> What's up, Chris? Is we're going to be doing something a little bit different Ooh. with our Walking Dead videos from right. now on. Yep. So if you don't know, Chris and I decided to start our own Third Person's Walking Dead group on Facebook. Check it out down below. Yes, we have the links below. So what we really want from you guys is after every Walking Dead episode to post your questions in the comment section of those Facebook um, Walking Dead group posts. Yep. And we're going to try to get to as many as we can. We have, I think we chose, I mean, we got a lot, but we narrowed it down to some of the, some repeat questions. So we got about six questions. So we're going to start these videos off, getting these questions, answering them, having a little fun. And yep. then kind of at the end, we'll kind of wrap it up and let you guys know what we thought. So I believe Chris... You have numero uno. Numero uno. And uh, in addition to the Facebook group, obviously, it's always YouTube comments and questions, which is yes, which is where we right. are. So we're also asking you guys to put the questions on, on the right. video as well. It's That's perfectly fine as well. If you want to join in the group, you can join the group. If you don't do Facebook, that's fine. There's always YouTube. That's so, true. Uh, that's the first true. one comes from our friend Michelle Coggs off of YouTube. Yes, yes. Um, Michelle asks, what do you think of Daryl's weapon against the Horde? And did we realize that the name of the weapon was Morningstar, um, which, you know, is uh, obviously the name of this episode. It's Morningstar. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, you want to you want to start it off? You want me to start it yeah, off? Yeah, I mean, I could start off with this one. I, you know, I didn't know about the name that that particular weapon was was called the Morningstar until the end. Mm -hmm. But that's besides the point. I would have liked to see. I think it's just it, it just wasn't practical for the way that they were attacking these walkers. Right. I mean, just there's you have a bunch of your people around you. You're swinging this spiked ball. I just don't think that that would be the best way to kill a bunch of walkers coming to your fence. I think the best way is a spear, like a, a sharp arm, spear yeah, where you can arm, just yeah. bank, 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 bank. Right. I wasn't a fan <laughs> of it. I would rather have if they were going to give him any weapon to use, if not the spear, give me give him his crossbow. Well, okay. Right? I mean... Yeah. Well, the crossbow's got problems in situations like that, obviously. I know, too, because but you I got would have rather see him You got very limited that. ammo, right? Yeah. You got very limited ammo. Crossbow's well, better in knives. those one-on-one. -on -one. He, he has those double knives, yeah. you know? All right. So here's the thing. Yeah. For, for me, I... Yeah, I totally knew it was called the Morning Star because I'm a big geek. And if you've ever seen Braveheart, when he goes on... You know, spoiler alert for Braveheart for like a 25-year-old movie or whatever, right? But... Yeah. When he goes on a rampage and he starts killing all the all the dudes, he uses a morning star. He bursts into that dude's bedroom and he drops the star and it falls and he hits the guy in the face. Like, <laughs> yeah. So I'm I'm a big. It's like, medi it's like a medieval, it's a medieval weapon. weapon. I'm a right? big okay. I'm a big proponent for medieval weapons. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm all up on I'm all up about that. I love I love right. medieval stuff. So yes, I did know it was morning star. Um, is it practical? I mean, not the most. I disagree a little bit with you, Mikey. It's not the most practical, but I think it has its merits considering. You know, you maybe can get more than one. It is, it's, it's. Well, what it's, if it gets stuck in like the every, brain? Dude, like, anything can get stuck. His double knives, uh, that can get stuck easiest of all. One goes in, yeah. he can't get it out. He gets, his arm gets caught. He gets bitten. You know what I mean? Like that's the, you, you, what you said was absolutely correct. You want a pole arm weapon. You want something that's long enough that's going to keep something away. sleek and pointy that will come right out. But, you know, as far as weapons go, I don't think it's the worst weapon. You know, but okay. um, yeah, so I think it looked I cool. Think. I mean, oh, it was cool. amazing. Yeah, it was so cool. Cinematically. Yeah, but it was absolutely overall, dope, especially when it, and I yeah. watched I watched that part, you know, trying to find like a thumbnail. I was trying to get one with him swinging it around. So, you know, it just and, he, and then it just slows down and he's just swinging his friggin yeah. ball around. Um, <laughs> anyway. All right. So uh, let's yeah. um, let's let's, let's move stick on. with you want to stick with YouTube, right? Uh, well, the next one does come from YouTube. It comes from John Blaze from YouTube. Um, and the next few are going to be all about Negan. Um, yeah. so, I mean, we can kind of combine the next two questions. Uh, John, John asks, uh, is, is Negan team alpha? Right. Um, you know, but you know, what is the next question? Because that kind of goes into it. I want Our to kind of like answer right. them both. Okay. No, I see where you're going. All right. So this question is from Pete R and he's, he was from, he sent us a PM in our, on our uh, third person page. Is Negan naive to think alpha would spare Hilltop? And allow them to surrender. Right. So, so let's make this a two-parter. Is Negan Team Alpha? I'm not convinced. I think he's 
No, he's Team Negan. I think he's Team Negan. And I think the whole time he's been with her so far, he's been trying to convince her. It's it's exactly what, you know, um, you know, what what that question is, is that is he naive for, for thinking that? I don't think he ah, man. Maybe he's just trying anything and any everything yeah, for them I, not to attack. I listen, it, it, Negan's slaughter. too Negan, yeah. right? He's mm-hmm. always team Negan and, and, and I don't, so I don't think he's team alpha and I don't think he was that naive. I don't think he believed it at all. I think he, I mean, maybe there was a, a like a portion, like a little bit of him that was like, Oh, maybe I did convince her because he did ask her. He's like, I thought you said we were going to let them join us. And she yeah. was like, well, they will. You yeah. Know, which like, <laughs> duh, he must've been, he was probably like, Oh yeah, no shit. Yeah. Yeah. You know, now, you know I'm kind of on the same boat. Really, I think I, I, I do think there might be some there might be a smidgen of of um, Negan being naive just because he we know how he how he feels about Judith. And he knows that there is a lot of children at the at the um, yeah, I don't think he wants Hilltop. them to die. Yeah, yeah, I think that that's why okay, he, he might okay. be team Negan, but he's okay. also team Judith and maybe All even right. team RJ and some of these other little kids. Negan has changed. You know, let's let's be real. And he has yeah. he has a soft spot for especially Judith. Well, Judith, I think so Judith I think is that, his only it's that that's his yeah. Achilles heel at this point. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So I think that which that's is fun, which is a fun yeah, thing exactly, to have. You exactly. Know? You know, so, uh, yeah, I'm kind of along with you. Um, he might he might he might have felt a little naive to, to think that Alpha would change. But I mean, obviously, maybe he thought he was getting to her because they they, they did look, the dirty look, deed, yeah, and he was like, yeah. "Oh, I, they, I got her in my pocket." I and mean, he's standing next to he was walking next to her when they were doing the whole. Um, he's he's finally like falling in line and like yeah, you know, she's not stupid. And his she, mask, yeah, dude, she slept with him to to put him at bay. Yeah. She knows she knows she's a master manipulator. She knows to that to get to him. Preaching is not going to happen. And she's going to have to do it with his with his dick, basically. And so she did that. And then and then mm. to cap it, she has hit. She has him flay her. You know. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. What's the word? You know, scourge or whatever the fuck you you know. You know what I'm saying? Like she has him do yeah. that. That's like a very intimate thing that she only had Bay to do. Bay to do. Yeah. And and like I said, I mean, listen. And she whips him back. Well, she. Well, okay. But well, that's that. Turning the tables, that's that's, that's a, a domineering bond. move. Yeah, that's, that's so like it, a... that completes the manipulation. I'm gonna have you do this to me. It's it's like a dog rolling over, showing their belly, but then that yeah. dog makes the other one submit too. That's yeah. exactly what she's doing. And we never and we haven't seen Beta get whipped. So I wonder if he has ever, you know what I mean? So like like I was saying, when they were walking in line with the with the walkers, and Beta was like a few rows back, and yeah. he was, and they were. I forgot exactly what they were saying. Like, they were we saying something the, that she started. Yeah, we are. We are the end. We are the end. Yeah, whatever. all this kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. But Negan was right next to her, and that was Beta's position. So I'm kind of curious about, uh, excited about what's going to happen with them two uh, later on. So yeah, there's definitely yeah, going to be there's definitely going to be a, a little uh, yeah. a, a contention between Beta yeah. and Negan. But I also think that again. Alpha is uh, Alpha manipulates him and has is is doing what she can having him whip her and, and her him like yeah. vice versa like that was all part of her manipulation of him she knows she knows how to manipulate and that's exactly what that is so oh they yeah. both yeah they both did um but Almost now did. but you know that's all fine and good everything we just said but uh, Mike from the Facebook group asked do you think if Alpha is killed will mm. Negan take over the Whispers and make them Saviors 2.0 what do you think of that? I guess it depends on how Alpha goes out. You know, um, mm-hmm. if Negan kills her, you think Beta is going to be OK with that and just be like, oh, you know, so right. it, I guess it depends on how Alpha goes out. Um, so now I, we know you and I and, and a lot of you listening probably know what happens in the comic. So I'm ve- I'm still stuck on the comic. Like, I can't really see this going any other way. Yeah. You know, like, you know, you, you know, the comic, right? You know what happened. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I know. What, so I, know I, what, what I, goes on. I don't. Hey, look, they very well can. I mean, look, they, they replaced Henry with with Carl and, yeah. and Lydia. Right. As we saw in this H and L, I'm like, who the hell was H? Right. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. OK, yeah, 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 right. I forgot. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? So. So, yeah, I forgot. So they do that. That's, you know, so. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it, it, that could happen. Will it happen? 
My answer is I don't think he will make them save his 2.01 because what we just said that I think he has changed and I think he's like he he cares for Judith and he maybe even cares for that community in his own way. And yeah. also, uh, yeah, I just I don't think that I think they want to end this whole whispers thing. Oh, I think so, too. You know? My, You know what? Honestly, I'm really thinking that it's we, we may get the comic book um, maybe Outcome. not the same exact yeah. way. But there, there's got to be a way for Negan to now come back into play. Now, if we have, with our group, with the survivors, right. so if we're having Maggie come back, if we're having Michonne come back, and people that are very apprehensive about Negan, too, and, and still can't trust him, if Negan does indeed kill Alpha, and Maggie happens to be there now, mm-hmm. you know, maybe that's a way for her to kind of get over... Well, I guess I won't say get you over know, Glenn's well, death. Yeah. Well, you know but what? a way for redemption, and maybe there's... You know, something big needs to happen if we're getting some of these characters back and Negan's going to be involved with the survivors. Right. That's the problem with, with, with quote unquote, going off book or doing it your own way is that the way it goes down in the book, and I, I, I know it's not the book, Chris, it's the show. I get that. But be, because there's a precedent, I, you know, I, personally, I thought it was fantastic what happens. And later in the book, what, ha- you know, after the whisper is like, you know, there's, there's stuff that goes down between Maggie and Negan as well. So having Maggie come back opens coming having Maggie come back opens up the opportunity for that to play out, which I would like to do because it ends Negan's arc in the story. Yeah. You know what I mean in the in the in the book. So you know we'll we'll see we'll see. Yeah, we'll but, see what yeah. happens. I mean, we had a little. You also had Carol staring at Glenn's picture. Oh my God! Um, let's can we just since you brought it up, dude? Yeah, dude. <laughs> they're they're putting they're, those you know, they're putting that out there. Were amazing know? pictures. Do you think? I don't know the answer to this. If anybody does yeah. know this, and I didn't finish watching uh, Talking Dead, but were those paintings? Are those like a, like fan art? Or are those made for the show? No, I think they're made for the show. I forgot exactly who made them, but I think I that want one. they were. I want them. Um, those are amazing. Someone, yeah, no, it was cool. Um, someone was saying, I forgot where I heard this. It was probably Talking Dead. Right. But it Glenn's picture um, specifically looked like his. Um, I don't remember if it's like a like a like a credit for the show or something like a, maybe like an IM, uh, IMDb a promo for the show. Yeah, like, the promo. Yeah, images, and yeah. then they just added like the the paint um, color on it. Yeah, maybe. You know what I mean? So I think it was something. I don't think it was specifically some artist that oh, was. Oh, you're saying they just kind of did. I, you know, what, I gotta go back and look at that because and, because yeah. I I use those images a lot, especially when yeah. I used to do my I, I used to do the a Walking Dead show back in uh, seasons three and four, and I used to play yeah. like zombie game footage underneath mm-hmm. while I reviewed the show on my gaming channel. So yeah. I use those images all, all the time. Yeah. So like, so I know exactly which image he's talking about. All right. Anyway, so yeah. all right. So that's that. That's all Negan stuff. Let's let's kind of move on. Um, the, I think we have a question about Eugene. Uh yeah. Uh well yes yes yes. I must I must skip that one. All right. Um, and this is this is good. We kind of got an answer to it at the end. But uh, do you think it was a good idea for Eugene to give up Hilltop's location to Stephanie, the woman he's been having this relationship over the 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 rate the cb or the radio do i think it's a good idea i mean uh, um i mean i i think i think he thinks it is i think he you know you want to talk about being naive i think eugene has a naivete to him because you know like we see a naivete naivete because he has a date he's got a date with her you know, you and I discussed this a little bit earlier mm-hmm. today about, you know, she gives up her location. He gives up their location, you know, that being of the satellite that crashed, which I thought was a very interesting way to incorporate that. Like, oh, we saw it, too. And we're here. And he's like, oh, well, that's less. It's got to be less than a couple hundred miles, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So, listen, you can't stay alone forever. You know, we, and, and, and in addition, we have to move forward anyway. We got to move the story forward. You got to have the next big thing to happen in The Walking Dead for next season, right? So you got to you got to lay these tracks down now. So, you know, you know, it, it you know, no, I think I think it's good. I th- you know, for us, I think it's good for the show. I think it's good for them mm-hmm. in the story. Well, we'll have to find out and see. I'm not sure. Yeah, no, I agree, too. I, like, you know, it just all depends on how who these people are and how they are and what right. kind of, you know, are they open to letting people in? Is this the group that Maggie's been with? The Commonwealth. Like, we don't know. Yeah. Like, yeah, the Commonwealth, kind of a story, the whole, you know, that whole arc, and which is going to be the future of the next season or multiple seasons. You know, I haven't. 
these people. So where are you? I'm I now. Okay, so I in the in the book I got up to. I'm not anywhere. Yeah, like, I got right up here. to the com to the Commonwealth, and that's all I'll say. And I never finished it. You know, I think it ends yeah. at one seventy five. It's kind of abrupt the way they ended. So, but it, I so. think I'm on like one. I'm almost. I think I'm almost there actually. I'm yeah. There. But but I don't I don't know how that finishes or plays out. I don't know mm -hmm. any of that. So I I think yeah. I'm gonna not read it because I I'm I can't help but compare the show to the book and and it's kind of an I kind of annoy myself. So, but it's like oh that's all I can think of is this and it's and uh, so I'm, I think I might not read it. I think I'm just gonna wait and see yeah. what happens. But yeah, I, I mean, don't know. We what were, you, we were yeah. I, <laughs> Do, do I think it's a good idea? Um, I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt. Um, it doesn't seem like Stephanie's people really. Um, she's hiding this these these con this contact with Eugene. It's not like she's like everybody knows that she's speaking with him. She tells him specifically not to tell anybody. He's he's hiding it too. But but yeah. Not, so that's you know. that's my thing. So it doesn't seem like her group is necessarily open to more people. So I guess we'll have to see what happens with that. There was one little thing, and I believe it was brought up on Talking Dead, or um, I might have seen an article. I mean, after these episodes, I always kind of look around and watch different things and read different things. So sometimes it, it gets all blended in. But uh, some people were saying how it was very reminiscent of Stranger Things at the end, where they were singing oh, yeah. Never Ending yeah. Story back yeah. and forth to each other on the radio. And I don't know if Spoilers that was like an homage for or... Stranger Things, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> who hasn't finished stranger things i don't uh, know what you're missing good, hey, you're good. out of control good, yeah. if you never if yeah. you never watch that but yeah i don't know if there was like a little homage to stranger things and the kids on that on that show but i thought that was a funny um funny yeah. read so all right so i got the last one too i believe right yep all right this is number six this is from susan from the facebook uh she she pm'd us uh, well, and this is this is this is one that I mean I'm sure we probably spoke a few times about this, mm -hmm. and we even saw kind of glimpses of this before. But why hasn't any group ever thought to dig a moat around their compound, their settlement? And if you don't mind, I'd like to start this off now. We we kind of saw not necessarily used as like a moat, like in a medieval castle or anything like that. But we remember the governor used yep. to dig these big Trenches, pits. Yep. And um, I mean, they were using the walkers for different things, but that's a good question because we had, we saw some cool. Uh, uh, we saw Eugene rig up the the electric fence, which yeah. is also an homage to the Walking Dead Telltale game. Yep. In the dairy, where yep. if you haven't played the Walking Dead Telltale game, and Chris and I even um, did we got some through videos. episodes one and two, yeah. I believe so far. Yes. Yeah. So this it's a great game. It's it's um, a telltale game. The whole series game, which, is fantastic. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. It's an awesome story, and some of the story in the in the video game is even better than the, um, yeah. the show itself. So if you haven't played that, check it out. But but yeah, we saw we saw the the electric fence and all these kind of cool things. So yeah, why hasn't why haven't our groups thought to build these big trenches? Even in it would be a lot because these settlements are big. But they're so also building other stuff, big. though. Like they're building yeah, houses but, and barns and. Yeah, I guess. I agree. They like, don't have. They don't have like a caterpillar to fucking dig these huge trenches. Okay, really but but yeah, but I mean, it does. You know, you, you we're not putting water in these trenches. We're gonna put spikes. You're gonna put. You know, you're gonna put yeah. things like that in there. That's what you're gonna do. I mean, they they put spikes in the ground already. It's not like they didn't look at the fence they just built. You know, but I agree. Like, why not have? The one thing that annoyed me about this whole thing, two things annoyed me about this this battle. Now, look, it was it was harrowing. It was it was pretty cool. I I did enjoy it. Um, and it's only the beginning, right? I, and they got their asses handed to them already, and now they're yeah. in a predicament where you know, I mean, yeah. the tree sap was amazing. Like that whole idea was like amazing. Yeah, I wrote down um, beta bombs. I knew. <laughs> yeah, I when I saw him filling that up, I was like, yeah. Oh, okay, I know exactly what he's going to use that for. It's basically talk. <laughs> so. Yeah. But what annoyed me is that they they created this they, they kept showing this wide shot of of the open field and it's like one thing that really bothered me was okay but what about the sides and behind Yeah, how did they know that they were going to come from that exact they just location? They knew they were going to come from the front. Yeah. Like what if they put yeah. the horde on the front and then a bunch of the whispers came from behind and got <laughs> in the and got in the gate that way? That's very true. Not, not even sorry, not even gate. I don't think there's an even who we don't even know what's in the back of that building. You know, like we don't, mm. they never address what's behind these, 
they only show the or assuming it's a big the same kind of fence that there's just not a gate on the other so right so but my whole thing was it's dark out what's gonna happen like you tell me no one can get behind you but then also why didn't they create a situation where they could funnel them in you know what i mean like create a choke point and i don't necessarily know if it would have worked because it was an open field and like that you know that fence was already about to break and whatever Mm -hmm. but maybe if you had done a choke point and just had people along the choke point instead of a line i don't know i mean i'm not a master strategist or anything but you know it just it just really i mean it was unsettling for sure looking at that but i don't know it was intense i mean it was intense and i was you know, they're all like, it, "What the? F- yeah, what yeah. the hell it's is like, this? It smells like Christmas trees. <laughs> it smells like pine trees." He said, yeah. "Right? Yeah, it, was, it smelled like pine trees." But you know, what? too, to add on to your point about maybe this, it wasn't necessarily the most strategic position for them to to fight. Is even if even if they're the walkers are they're, they're piling up now, right? They're piling yeah. up. So if you have how how far can you really reach? After you're you're taking out well, the first well, that, few well, lines, they start, that you was know, the problem. You suddenly start leaning gonna, in and stuff. Yeah. So, what, but what do you think? Everybody knew the horde was coming. We had fucking rats coming out. That of was the cool. That was really stuff. cool. That was dope. Yeah. So, I don't yeah, know, man. Was, you know, it's like, I mean, listen. And again, I, like I said, it's just the beginning of this of the whisper battle, this whisper war. So, I'm assuming next episode it's going to start off. Right in, right in the middle. Well, yeah. Of this. Well, now so they got the fire. At, you know, it's fire at the gates, and they got to figure yeah. it out. But obviously, they show you know that you know they're alive and they're doing this and that and that. So yeah, yeah. So all right, let's um, let's just closing thoughts. Um, I just want to. There's a couple few, th- a couple few. What? Come on, dude. There's a few things I just want to address. Um, yeah. you know the uh, Zeke and Daryl conversation i really enjoyed i thought that was really cool we haven't really seen them talk and i thought that was very cool they have they have a mutual respect for each other i completely totally and utterly forgot that he's got thyroid cancer you know he he did get it in though you know yeah him i agree him and his honey yeah 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 yeah, 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 to talk about no no i I, that's one of the things that i wrote down too because towards the end we had before the battle really we had daryl and ezekiel we had daryl and carol which was was pretty intense um, and we had the Daryl with Judith, which was adorable as hell when she. That was the other thing. Oh, was the other conversation. The, yeah, Those two conversations back to back, really. Yeah. You know, and I have a point to make about that afterwards. But go ahead, yeah, tell me more. Yeah, no, no, that's just some some of the things that I really enjoyed seeing. Yeah. Um, one of the things, uh, one of those encounters with Daryl, the one with Carol was. Was he, really, just, he just won. He just yeah, one worded her, man. She's, you know, he's like, well, she's just like, yeah, please don't hate me, and he's like, I'm never gonna hate you, and then he walks away. So, and he walks Perfect. away because he's because he's still Perfect. yes exactly that's what I thought that was like awesome you didn't I was like oh around. no you please hug her. not another not you know? another heart to heart yeah. we've had like nine yeah. of them this season can we just exactly. and he just said so that to her and walked away beautiful yeah that's beautiful. really what I mean this um I'm gonna tell you Mikey this this yeah. was this was my favorite episode of the season so far um yeah. and you know I know I know I've been giving it a lot of shit the past few seasons but this is where the show excels the show excels when our characters and everything are in dire straits but the the calm before the storm the heat you know right before the battle like this is where the show really excels for me um and i really did enjoy it i stopped trying to look at it you know with a with a a critical eye and just enjoy it you know um and yeah i think i think this was a this was a really good episode it was my it was my favorite of the season so far my favorite in in a while actually so you know, I you know, I'm not gonna talk ill. I just say I enjoyed it. Other than the few things that we talked about with the actual beginning of the battle, like you know what they could have done. But you know, again, I, I I enjoyed it. I did. I actually had a good time watching this episode. It was some really some really good stuff. Some really good conversations. Yeah, no, I'm glad. I, you know, I'm glad because listen, you're not the only one that's been critical to this. No. Uh, you know, it, it's tough sometimes, but um, we're battling through it. Yeah, again, I agree with you. I really enjoyed this episode too. Anytime Judith is really on the screen too. One more thing, like. How how um, it really shows when Daryl was talking with with Ezekiel about remember if 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 at any any point um, something happens to me on the battlefield I want you to 
Grant take RJ yeah, right. and Judith. So that shows a lot. That just shows that obviously he knows that he's another badass dude. Oh, you know, of course. Um, the guy ran the kingdom. Watch, he knows. Yeah, look, he, he's not exactly. a you know, he's not a he's not a dude. He's not a slouch. Yeah. You know. I mean, listen, we have, we're we're kind of down. You didn't have the ocean side to be able to help in this. You didn't have the Alexandrians to help in this because they're stuck. And and we had a throwback with with Negan with the blocking the roadways with the trees. So there was. It's really. A handful, you know, you have a few really good fighters. Everybody else is like, who's that guy? I've never seen that guy yet. Right. right. Um, so, again, um, I agree with you. I really enjoyed the episode. Good acting. Even out of some of the smaller characters, like Aiden, I think it was. Aiden, which was yep. Enid's good boyfriend. Yep. And the older guy, Earl. Yeah. Oh, um, he was cool, yeah. He was like, we're yeah, going to so go do was, this. Yeah. Let's do this. <laughs> so it was good. So I'm glad I'm glad you you enjoyed this one. So that's a wrap with this. I hope you guys really enjoyed this new format for the Walking Dead videos. Uh, we're going to be posting uh, comments on our Walking Dead um, uh, Facebook group. Sorry, yeah. I couldn't get that out. <laughs> so every every Sunday, we're going to be expecting questions from you guys after the episode airs. And um, yeah, yeah, we're I'm gonna just going to get to them as as much as we can we're going to try to get to yeah let me just piggyback on that because i yeah. just want to you know w w the, the goal is to have a thread for each episode um yes. so we can kind of get focus and get all so we so we can all go to, we all know where to go to get these questions like you know so uh you know we'll pull them from youtube and we'll pull them from facebook those are like the two main things that we like to pull but on facebook you know so it's a very specific place where you guys can go so you don't have to be searching for it i always put the post up top it's in the announcements it's put it's put up top yeah. you can always join find the group it. join the group so join the group um a lot of you have thank you for joining the group Absolutely. uh you know say hi in there talk it's it's you know it, it's a place that you know we can talk about all this stuff and um uh we also started a westworld group because westworld's coming back yes. at the time of this video Six next days. sunday yeah so about a week we have until Westworld Season 3 starts, which is going to be fantastic. So there's a group for that as well. If you like that show and you're watching it, go check that out. Come join us. Same situation. We're going to do questions, things like that. Uh, I think we're actually going to we're going to attempt to live stream that after the show on Sunday night. So We'll, we'll post a bunch of that stuff yeah. on, on, on the social media. We're just media. putting it out there now. Um, yeah. But yeah, get, tell and listen. Tell everyone who likes, you know, The Walking Dead. If they're watching, get in the group. If you know, if they use Facebook and stuff, you know, or go to or go to right. YouTube. You know, YouTube or Facebook are the two are the easiest places to get that stuff. So that's right. That's right. So all check right. us all out. We uh, we really enjoyed doing this. I Chris Chris, I really I liked uh, these questions. It's always one of my favorite things, the, the Q and A vid. So I know, yeah. uh, let's keep it coming. We appreciate everybody that wrote us in. We had a lot of questions, so we hope we answered yours. That's right. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time for The Walking Dead.